high value men can be loners, the sigma men, right? If I start going off, y'all let me know. Okay, today we're going to be talking about real high value men are loners, sigmas. All right, in the manosphere, Sigma's starting to come out of places. Everyone's starting to pay attention to it. All right, we're, we're, we're gaining some strength here. I can feel it. By next year, they will understand us. Alpha Kingdom Podcast, big shout outs. I caught you earlier, bro. Big shout outs. All right, now let's get to the first. We're going to get right into it today. The types of alpha males that are out there when it comes to being high value. You're going to have an alpha male, which is an extrovert, and he's more superficial, right? Alpha males have a tendency to be flashy. They have a tendency to wear nice clothes. They have a tendency to drive nice cars. They have a tendency to show everybody that they have higher status. So a lot of alpha males are more superficial because them and beta males are always competing for the top spot. That's what you have to understand. There's constant battle between alphas and and between alphas and betas. When you're an alpha male and you walk in a room and a beta male all of a sudden want to be smart with you, yes, he's fighting for the top alpha spot. A lot of you guys may come across this, especially when you get around women. You'll start seeing who's alpha and who's beta because alphas and betas are always arguing with each other. Sigmas, we're a little different. We're introverts. All right. We look average. We look like the average Joe going around. All right. What's the same with us? We're going to pull that up. What is a Sigma male? And we're going right here. And I want you guys to see this before I go further into the lecture that there is a definition of Sigma male. A Sigma male is right here. A Sigma male is a man who lives outside the hierarchy. He does his own thing and dance to his own beat. Sigma males are also attractive to women because they're at the top of the social sexual sexual hierarchy alongside with the alpha male. So if anyone asks, you can simply go over to Google and you can get the definition of a Sigma male. We are introverted alpha males, all right? Why do content creators deny Sigma males, right? Every time you guys go to another content creator and you talk about Sigma males, everyone denies them. No matter where you go, they all deny them. I understand that. And the reason why you have a lot of content creators that are going to deny it Everyone knows it's alpha. Everyone knows what beta. Sigma is something new. Sigma is like, nah, nah, nah. We never really focused on that. So it, it, it's really not real as this. They have to tell you that because a lot of people are starting to identify with Sigma more than an alpha male. So they got to tell you we don't exist. You're going to have a lot of content creators that say, oh, Sigma males don't exist. Because they got to break your concentration. They don't want you to identify it. Then it'll be, oh, they're going to watch his videos more than they watch me. Because they identify with that more. That's where it's at. So it's business on their end. So when content creators may say, oh, no, they don't exist. They don't exist. I understand that. I don't take none of that personal. It's business. It's business. All right? So understand, when people are denying Sigma, it's because they haven't went to the internet. They haven't looked it up at all. Why are we loners? This is what I want you to see. Why are Sigma loners? All right? For one, we don't want people to know what we have. All right? That's what you have to understand. This is why high value Sigma males spend time alone because they don't want you to know what they have. Why we don't want people to know what we have? This is why. Because there's less fake friends. When people think you got something, they want to be around you all the time, right? Everybody that gets money all of a sudden get new family members 
and people start laughing at jokes that ain't even funny, right? Everybody starts acting fake the moment you start showing dough. But us Sigma males, we don't show our dough like that because why? We don't want gold digging women. When you're a high value male, right? And you're making a lot of money, the more flash you show, the more expensive things you show, materialistic things that you're using to feel better about yourself, you're not really getting quality people around you. You got a whole bunch of people that's coming around you adjusting themselves to try to get what you got. Sigmas, we know that. We're comfortable with ourselves that there's no reason for us to do anything extra in order to get ahead of anyone else. Next, less drama. People always say, the more money you get, the more problems you have, which is true because you put yourself out there. The first thing people do when they get money is get a car so people know that they have leveled up. Get jewelry, look at me. Get this, look at me. So what you do, you get more people around you that's more drama. That's more different mindsets. That's more different beliefs that come around you. So us as sig Sigmas, the loners, we don't want that. We don't want the drama. We don't want the gold digging women. We don't want any of that. Being high value and being popular is not equal. Let me explain to you was what being popular and being high value is not equal. All right, this is why. Powerful people pay popular people to push their agendas. You get it? Powerful people you don't see, but they pay people to be powerful. Like, look at the elites. At any given moment, they can take it from you. Look at Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby was one of the richest people in the world. They got rid of him fast. Look at R. Kelly. They got rid of him fast. Look how many people got canceled just in the past six months that were elite people, that were high value people. Why? Because they really wasn't high value. High value people that want that that, that, that are looking for gratification, they gonna have the Rolex for you to see it. They gonna have the rings. They gonna tell you I drive the Rolls Royce. I do that. I do this and I do that. Cool. We know. But your boss will never see. Why? Because popular people are always paying to look powerful. Understand that. The clothes are for people that want to look and feel powerful. The watches expensive are for you to look and feel powerful. Whether you are or not. The elite people don't even waste money on that. Let's get to it. Powerful High value loner men, we move differently. Let me explain to you why we move differently. For one, we're very conservative. All right? High value people are very conservative. And I'm going to tell you, my mentor is one of my best friends. He's an older Jewish guy. Why I like this guy so much? I watched this guy for years wear the same outfit. Drive the same truck with over 200,000 miles and was fixing it every month with little things just to keep it up, right? Same shoes, everything. Can blend in and look like a regular Joe on the streets, but bought a million dollar house in cash. Bought a fleet of trucks in cash. Gave his son an apartment building for his birthday and he's 11. Looking the part only makes you a victim. The more money you get, the smaller your circle is supposed to be. And everybody is not supposed to know you have it. That's how you keep it. 